So many viewers of this YouTube channel show a strong interest in real ocean-going world cruisers. This video is about an 83-foot Camper and Nicholson sailing yacht with a price tag a little more amenable than some of the other yachts on the channel that not only has world cruising ability, it has the experience and was actually designed for that purpose. Yacht broker Annie Avery explains a few more details. Mustang is particularly a really great globetrotting vessel. And the reason is that her hull, the Ocean 80 hull, was originally designed to withstand the Southern Ocean in the Whitbread Round the World race. So she has a hull that was designed for very severe weather and ocean cruising. So that's your platform for a world cruiser as a, as a layman, not as a racer. That, in connection with a draft that's under 10 feet, is practically not found. Most performance boats, like this one is, it was a performance racer, most performance boats have a draft that's well over 10. It'll be 11, 13, a 70 foot might even have a 13 foot draft on it. So the idea that you have a draft with a bulb on it in order to have that under 10 feet and also get the coastal cruising is really a boon for a cruiser, for a world cruiser. She's got four sails, so you have two headsails. You can choose between the Yankee or the Genoa. You have a staysail if you're on a point of sail that can use that, and you've got a beautiful mainsail. And so those sails give you the combination, and then you also have the aft deck space that is very, very usable from a social point of view, because there you have the coach roof of the master cabin, and on top of that, there are pads that when the dinghy is not there, you can use as a gathering area for lounging, for sunning, and it can be also in connection with chairs that are set up on the aft deck. So it can become a very large social area beyond the cockpit, which is very, very nice. Then that area becomes bracketed and the tender goes up on there to be stored if you're voyaging. And it has a crane that helps you with the tender. That's another really nice thing from an ocean voyaging point of view. From the inside, you have the crew cabins, one on each side, captain's cabin, and then two over-under bunks for the rest of the crew. And then you have an athwart ship's galley and stairs that lead out for the crew. So they have their own entry to and from the deck. The galley is really nice also because it does have a full crew mess on one side where four people can sit very easily. And in that crew mess, you also have an extra freezer under one of the seats that is for that long ocean voyaging that the boat is really built to do. Then you can open the door that goes out to the salon. It's completely closed or you can leave it open so that you can see it if you want but you have a beautiful main salon. And the light that comes in from the pilot house coach roof, which extends into that, just spills light down into that area. Plus you have port lights on each side. So you have light flooding that area, even though it's one of the lowest points on the boat. So on one side, you have the beautiful table with an L-shaped settee, and then chairs that are around that. And on that forward bulkhead, you have a television and a credenza there where they keep dishes and things like that also, and the rest of the entertainment center. And then on the other side, it's a beautiful 
little cocktail area where you have a settee, a curved settee, a cocktail table, and then you also have a wonderful bar with curved cabinet that opens up and there's a Lazy Susan with all the glasses in there. And it's even designed so that if you want somebody to formally tend the bar, you can because they can stand behind the bar and actually look out and serve everybody there. Then you have beautiful stairs. They're very graceful uh, with banister and with um, a railing that goes up along the upper salon. And that leads you up to the upper salon pilot house. Now, Mustang was one of the very first boats to break open that bulkhead that existed between the pilot house and the salon before. So she's one of the very first ones to have a lower, an upper salon and then a lower salon, but have correspondence between them so that you can see them, you can relate to the people down there, you can talk to them visually, verbally you could too, but you still feel that you have a different sense of space. And then in the pilot house salon, you also can see outside. So that's really a pivotal point in the boat. And beautiful light comes in there because you have 360 degrees of window there. Then going down the stairs, you have three staterooms aft. On one side, you have the cabin, which is two twins. And that also has access to the stand-up engine room and it also has a washer dryer in the head that's there. On the other side is a full bed with access also en suite to a bathroom there and that bathroom also serves as a day head because there is another door that opens to the hallway so that if you were having a party or something nobody would have to go through any stateroom in order to use a head. Then you go all the way aft to the full width master cabin, which is very, very spacious, especially for about this size. She has a beautiful queen center line bed with uh, bedside tables beside. And then she has settees on each side. On one of the settees, it's actually designed so that you can take open the cabinet at the end of it and take off the bolsters and you have a full length six foot seabed if you want it. On each side, there are hanging lockers. And then on one side, they also have a desk with a built-in stool underneath that swivels out and can be hidden underneath. Also a little waste basket that's already part of it and already stowed. Very thoughtful about the whole thing. From the outside, you still have a continuation of the boat, which is a lazarette. And this three foot extension from the original 80 foot ocean hull, this is an 83 foot, was made so that they would have that lazarette and they would have that extra storage for round the world cruising. extraordinary yachts. I film many vessels that have world cruising ability but are actually only ever used for coastal cruising. This is a yacht that was designed as Anne said to be able to cope with the whip bread challenge. It's a yacht built for people who really do want to spend extended periods of time on board seeing the world. What should you do if you would like to fulfill that dream on Mustang? If you're interested in buying Mustang, just pick up the phone, give me a call or pop me an email and we'll get 
together on your schedule to be able to come look at the boat. And if you like the boat, then we can go ahead and put it under contract, do a survey and close on the boat and you will be ready to go.